Now, it's the news fighting fans across the world have been waiting for. Ronda Rousey's back. After taking a break from fighting, Rousey makes her UFC comeback against Amanda Nunes in December. Now, there's no question about it, Ronda Rousey is the greatest female fighter of all time. The American is the only athlete to ever earn an Olympic medal and a UFC championship at the same time. She's one of eight fighters in UFC history to win a championship with an undefeated record. Rousey's one of six fighters in the UFC history to record six or more consecutive titles. But here's where it gets different. Ronda Rousey was knocked out by Holly Holm in her last fight. And it's been over a year since she stepped in the ring. So the big question is Ronda ready? Well, joining us now from Lagos is our fighting expert, Ade Oladipo. Ade, uh, surely uh, UFC will be smiling. Dana White will be as happy as ever. The UFC has their queen back, right? Yeah, no, certainly. Um, as you say, Dana White's going to be rubbing his hands together with glee. Uh, uh, Ronda Rousey basically equals cash, equals dollars in the bank. And the new owners as well. Look, UFC has just been bought for $4 billion. And I guess one of their stipulations was, look, we need Conor McGregor. And we need Ronda Rousey back on. And Ronda Rousey back on in December is huge. I guess the question really is, is Ronda Rousey the same? Like you said, she got knocked out in her last fight against Holly Holm. She, um, she, when she comes into the ring again in December, she would have been well over a year out of the ring. She's an actress as well. She's a superstar outside of the octagon. So where is Ronda Rousey? Is she an actress? Is she someone that wants to be fighting? Or is she just in it for the money? If we see the Ronda Rousey of old, the one that won all those consecutive fights, then yeah, we've got a great fighter. If we see the Ronda Rousey, Rousey that turned up against Holly Holm, then I guess it could be an early night for her again. I guess, what well, the intrigue is there. It's money on the seats, and I'm, for one, extremely excited. And it doesn't worry you. I mean, I don't know many people who aren't Ronda Rousey fans. We're all really behind her. She is such a super story. But does it worry you, the fact that she was knocked out? It was her first real failure, and then she went and took a, more than a year out of the sport. Yeah, no, it does worry me. Um, if you look at someone else to compare it to, look, Conor McGregor, again, a big superstar, lost his fight. He was back in the octagon, what, two, three months later. It worries me that a fighter can take that much time off. And I question her hunger and her desire, really, to come back in there. Is she being pressured by the UFC? Is she under contract by the UFC? And if she, if, if she doesn't return, does she break that contract and does that lose her a lot of money? That's a question that has been labelled around the social media right now. I question her hunger. I don't know anyone that can take 12 months off, 13 months mm. off, and think they can be the same fighter. But she might look at it differently. She might look at it that, look, I got knocked out. There are things I need to work on. And everyone talks about her boxing skills need to be improved. That doesn't happen overnight. That takes time. So maybe 12, 13 months is a good time for her to come back, rebuild her career, and let's see what Ronda Rousey can do. Well, I think you make an awesome point there about the pressure the UFC puts on the fighters. And I think there's a story in there in a few years' time that'll come out about how these fighters are pressured by the organization to get in there. But quickly, you spoke of time off. One man who's getting a lot of time off, Tyson Fury, he's given up his belts. He's now suspended. Surely it is the end of the road. Um, probably so. The only thing that's helping Tyson Fury that he's only 28 years old. I think a lot of people forget that. Yes, he's lost his belts. Yes, he's been suspended. But I think Tyson Fury needs to forget about boxing for now, get help, which he said he's going to do. I follow him on social media, and then come back strong. One thing is he's guaranteed to get the winner of all of his belts if he does come back, and that's expected to be around April, May time. But for now, you're right. I can't see where Tyson Fury goes. But boxing's a long sport. He's a young man, so hopefully he can get himself sorted and be back in the ring no time. Ade, always great talking to you. Now, coming up on the show,